So why Anorexia Nervosa? Well, Compass is a mental health care company and we pride ourselves in being bold in taking on difficult challenges. Anorexia nervosa is a very difficult challenge. It's a condition with major morbidity and mortality, which means that people often have very poor outcomes and onsets when they're quite young. Um, it's difficult to treat. There are really no alternatives uh, of drugs and the psychotherapy works some of the time, but it's by no means uh, certain that a patient will recover having received even effective psychotherapy. So we want to do better than that. Um, we think that anorexia nervosa makes sense for a psilocybin COMP360 approach because the characteristics of anorexia are that one has a rather fixed way of thinking, patterns of thinking, a preoccupation particularly with weight and shape, a lot of rules, a lot of ways of operating that are quite obsessional, and these things get in the way of ordinary life and they stop people fulfilling their potential in very important ways. And we think that that way of thinking, that way in which the brain gets stuck, is one of the ways in which we can make a change with psilocybin. Psilocybin seems to unblock certain kinds of rigid ways of thinking. It seems to give people a freedom to operate, if you might, you might say, uh, cognitively. And so we think that Conditions like anorexia nervosa may be very good places to start in trying to apply psilocybin. However, we have to prove that. It's not enough just to speculate. And for that reason, you have to do the right kind of studies to eventually convince regulators as well that this is a drug that should be made available for patients and reimbursed by healthcare systems. The plan is to investigate anorexia nervosa and to look at the impact of two different doses of psilocybin, COMP360, which is a crystalline proprietary formulation of the drug in combination with psychological support. The patients will enter the study having withdrawn from any other medication and they will then be randomized to receive either the low dose, one milligram, or the high dose, 25 milligrams. And our prediction is that the 25 milligram dose is likely to be the one that produces a psychedelic effect, most strongly obviously, and that that will lead to clinically beneficial outcomes. To prove that, we will see the patients for 12 weeks following the day of dosing. They'll only receive one dose, but we will then be able to see whether that one dose is effective in changing the symptom profiles of the patients.